in a quaint village nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a renowned Zen master named Kaido. His wisdom was legendary, and people from far and wide sought his counsel to find peace and clarity in their lives. One day, a young boy named Hiro stumbled upon the Zen master's humble abode while chasing a butterfly. Intrigued by the serene atmosphere surrounding the place, Hiro decided to stay and observe the master's teachings. Kaido welcomed Hiro with a warm smile and invited him to join the small group of disciples gathered around him. The boy, barely 12 years old, felt a sense of calm wash over him as he sat among the adults, eager to absorb the wisdom that seemed to permeate the very air. As days turned into weeks, Hiro became a regular presence in the Zen master's courtyard, eagerly soaking in every word and lesson. He watched in awe as Kaido effortlessly guided his disciples on the path to enlightenment, teaching them the power of meditation, mindfulness, and inner reflection. But despite his best efforts, Hiro found himself struggling to grasp the deeper truths of Zen philosophy. Frustration gnawed at him, and he often questioned whether he had what it took to attain the same level of wisdom as the other disciples. Sensing the boy's inner turmoil, Kaido approached him one evening as they sat beneath the stars. With a gentle smile, he asked Hiro what troubled him so. I want to understand, Hiro confessed, his voice barely above a whisper. But it feels like I'm always grasping at shadows, never quite reaching the light. Kaido nodded knowingly, his eyes twinkling with understanding. The journey to enlightenment is not an easy one, young Hiro. It requires patience dedication, and above all, faith in oneself. With those words, Kaido began to share with Hiro, a story a story of a mighty oak tree that stood tall and proud in the heart of the forest. Many years ago, Kaido began, there was a young sapling who dreamed of reaching the heavens like the towering oak. Day and night, it stretched its branches towards the sky, longing to touch the stars above. But try as it might, the sapling could never seem to grow tall enough. It watched in envy as the oak swayed gracefully in the breeze, its branches rustling with the songs of the forest. One day, the sapling could bear it no longer. Why can't I be like you? It cried to the oak. Why must I always remain small and insignificant? The oak, wise and ancient, chuckled softly in response. My dear sapling, it said, do you not see? Your strength lies not in your height, but in your roots. Hiro listened intently, his heart hanging on every word. He could feel the truth of the story resonating deep within him, stirring something long dormant. The sapling realized then that while it may never reach the heights of the oak, it possessed a power far greater the power of its inner strength, its resilience, and its unwavering determination to thrive against all odds. As the years passed, the sapling grew into a mighty tree in its own right, its roots spreading far and wide, anchoring it firmly to the earth. And though it may not have reached the heavens, it found something far more precious, a sense of peace and contentment that could only come from within. With a soft sigh, Kaido fell silent, allowing the echoes of his words to linger in the stillness of the night. Hiro sat lost in thought, his mind swirling with newfound understanding. As dawn broke over the horizon, bathing the world in golden light, Hiro felt a sense of clarity wash over him like a cool breeze. He realized then that the answers he sought were not to be found in the words of others, but in the depths of his own heart. With renewed determination, Hiro embarked on his own journey of self-discovery, embracing the lessons of the past and forging ahead into the unknown with courage and conviction. And as he walked the path laid out before him, he knew that no matter where it may lead, he would always carry within him the power of his inner mind, a power as boundless and eternal as the universe itself. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.